Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this Replit platform video series, today we will develop a Python Flask server and connect Dialogflow ES to that server for fulfillment. So let's get started. In the first video of this series, I have created a sample uh, Python Flask application where I have a source folder inside which I have app.py which is a sample uh, Python Flask application and I have a main.py which runs the application. So in app.py, in the first video of this series, I have shown you how you can access uh, environment variables from uh, the secret from the secret tab and use it into your code so let me clean this up a bit and when i save it it will automatically format the code as well you can see it so now what i'll do is that i'll create another route here app dot route let's say dialog flow and followed by methods and the method will be post so dialog flow will send a post request on the webhook let's say def dialog flow the first thing I'll do is I'll import requests as well, request. Now I'll say my data will be request.getjson and I'll just print my data and I'll return OK and 200. When I save it and when I run it, it will start the server and we can see that OK response. Uh, when I copy this and when I open it in my browser, we'll see OK response as well. So this is my URL. Uh, yeah, this is my URL followed by dialog flow is our path. So I'll copy this. I'll go to dialog flow. Uh, sorry that I did not mention in the start of the video that you need to have some knowledge of dialog flow. So I'll consider that, that you have some knowledge of dialog flow. So in the fulfillment section, I'll go and I'll paste my URL. Now I have two intents, default fallback intent and default welcome intent in the default fallback intent i have used input unknown as action name and fulfillment is enabled and in the default welcome intent i have used default welcome intent as my action name and webhook is enabled so now if i say hi you'll see uh, we see no response, but if I go to diagnostic info and if I go to fulfillment status, it says that fail to parse the JSON coming from the webhook. And if I go here, so we see OK response. So actually our connection is working, but we haven't set the response needed uh, by Dialogflow to render it on the platform. So let's see that. So if I go here, uh, Dialogflow es web hook response here in the web hook response if i go and see web hook response body we will need to send this type of information fulfillment message text text and text response okay so let me copy this let me copy this i'll go to our platform here and before that i would like to show that we have printed the body and this is the body coming uh, in the request and you can see that as well here in the diagnostic info 
if you click on request fulfillment request you will see that this is the request that is being sent by dialog flow to our endpoint now here in the app.py instead of just sending this i'll first use uh, jsonify jsonify i will jsonify the response so that dialog flow can understand that and here i'll paste and i will wrap it around jsonify and let me save this when i save it you can see the code is formatted correctly and if i run it here yeah, it is run and yeah um, we see the response okay if i go here and if i say hi again you will see test response from webhook and this is what uh, we intend to do here in the app.py we can see that this is what we have sent so this is working so now let me do something meaningful uh, first i will uh, copy this and convert it into a function def let's say format underscore response and it will take uh, text and that will be a list so let me import that as well uh, from uh, typing import sorry import list and that will be list of uh, string and it will uh, return j sonify and i'll use this and i'll use return here and here i'll just use texts okay so we have just converted into uh, the return into a function so that we can use it and every time we don't have to write it now what i'll say format underscore response and i'll say uh, sample text response and for better clarity let me store it into a variable and then i'll return the variable okay and here uh sorry let me do one thing uh let's say action equals to uh data then query results and i'm getting this from this diagnostic info if we go here so this request has a query result and uh, this query result has a action property so yeah my action will be like this and if i want if uh, my action name equals to uh, default welcome intent i would like to say uh, response equals to format uh, response and i'll say um, hi how can i help you today else if uh, my action name equals to input unknown so this input unknown is coming from default fallback intent and you can see that my action name is input unknown so if in case my action name is input unknown i want uh, response equals to format uh, response and my response will be like uh, sorry i did not understand that clearly okay and uh, also 
I want else condition here and let me copy this so I want to say that uh, uh, no action or I can say no handler is set for the action name so I'll say no handler for the action name and I'll say my action name is action and I'll remove this and I'll return the response so if I save this you can see the code is formatted automatically and yeah the code is working and we can see the okay response now if I come here and if I say hi then the response is coming from webhook and if we go to diagnostic info uh, fulfillment response you can see this is the fulfillment response and fulfillment status is execution successful and if i say something that uh, the board doesn't understand it will say sorry i did not understand that clearly and again it is coming from webhook so in this way you can write your webhook and you can uh, connect that webhook to Dialogflow and generate the response dynamically. So I hope uh, this is helpful to you. In the upcoming next videos on my YouTube channel, we will explore Replit in depth as well and connect Dialogflow CX with Replit. So watch out this space for more such videos. And if you like my work, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps. Thank you for watching. Peace.